In today's video, we're going to be taking a big old look at the month of July that is up coming. So we're going to be taking a look at the temperature pattern. We're going to be taking a look at the analogs. I know you guys love the analogs so much. So we'll take a look at the precipitation and the temperatures in the upcoming analogs for the month of July of 2023. I did want to mention to you guys, my new business prestige weather has been doing so well. So many of you have been joining and it's just been great to be able to share extra weather knowledge with you guys. You can find that in the pinned comment and description down below. We just did an early release of our actual July forecast. So that goes for the temperature precipitation and overall forecast. We released that early in there for our premium members. So if you want to gain access to that and everything we're talking about today uh, and get clear, concise information early on about what my forecast is for July, be sure to join in the description and pinned comment down below. We have that information for you guys down there where you can join today. It's only $5 a month, very affordable about the same price as a cup of coffee. Uh, definitely gonna be worthwhile. We also deliver forecasts directly to you. We're calling you guys once a week for limited time at least. We're thinking about releasing it permanently, but we're gonna be calling you guys once a week, if you like, of course, uh, to give you guys a forecast for anywhere that you might be located. So if you are located in the middle of nowhere, we will still give you a call. We'll still get the weather information for you and give you a look at the week ahead one-on-one -on -one directly to you. So it's really, really cool. Be sure to check it out again in the description and pinned comment down below. Taking a look at the past uh, 30 days or so, and I would do 25 to get us a more accurate representation of what the summer has been like so far, but I, there's only 30 or 20. So we went with 30 here. It has been far below normal here along the eastern seaboard. This is where we've been talking about the historic cold uh, for these areas. Record cold summer potentially on the way and ongoing. We have warmth here in the upper Midwest. So things have been uptrending as far as temperatures down here. And also for the south central United States where they've had historic heat. This is what we were talking about yesterday with the historic warmth for different areas in the nation. Really, really crazy stuff. And then we also have this cooler area here for the west, especially the southwest here, we have plenty of cold temperatures around for these pockets. So definitely, definitely some different interesting things happening around the nation. Again, if you wanna see that July forecast, that is available early on in the prestige weather. We will be releasing that on July 1st here on the channel though, of course, where you can check it out then. Here is kind of the upcoming storms. We're gonna break away from the, the temperature talk real quickly. We do have an enhanced risk of severe weather for portions of the mid-Atlantic and the East Coast in general, so be on the lookout for damaging wind, hail, and maybe even some spotty tornadoes. Definitely going to be something to watch for. Really, really crucial stuff there is this is one of the highest risks that the East Coast has seen this year so far. We see this storminess clears up by midweek next week, and we see things, or this week, I guess, we're seeing things get a lot quieter here in the East, and we actually have a big time ridge here in the central United States, which is going to worsen the heat for these areas. Uh, we also have plenty of storms up here for the Northwest as well ongoing. Definitely uh, some interesting things happening. Uh, we see the ridge here uh, still ongoing, obviously, by later this week. We have some storms for the northeast, especially here, and then some stuff moving around that ridge. Obviously, storms and low-pressure systems don't like to move straight towards high-pressure systems, so that's why they're kind of bowing over and working their way around this. It's like oil and water, how it avoids each other is exactly how those pressure systems work. As we keep going here, we could see by the time we're reaching Friday the 30th, uh, it's a little bit quieter here as well. July 1st, speaking of July 1st, today our, temp or our uh, July forecast will be released, officially released at least. We can see that there is scattered thunderstorms throughout a lot of the eastern half of the nation, certainly uh, worth noting. By the time we're, take, we're taking a look here at Sunday the 2nd here, we could see these storms taking place uh, for the deeper south. Up into the northeast, we're seeing more storms on the way. We're actually getting an early July 4th forecast here going on as well because we're going to work our way into it. By the 3rd of July, which some areas have some fireworks going on that night, we do still have this pocket of scattered thunderstorms going on from the kind of Midwest up through the Ohio Valley and into the northeast as well. As we keep going towards the actual 4th of July, we can see that uh, I want to actually move us towards like when fireworks would be going off. So this is about 8 p.m., a little bit before fireworks, and this is really looking messy. We have a majority of areas in this circle for the central and eastern United States dealing with scattered about thunderstorms. Really, really disruptive weather for a 4th of July forecast. 
If you would like a custom 4th of July forecast, uh, be sure to join the Trilo or the Prestige Weather. Again, we do give access uh, to weekly calls, and we can give you guys insight into what the weather might be like that evening uh, if that is what you choose to do. So it's worth checking out there at Prestige Weather. Uh, and then before the 5th into the 6th, it's the same story, although not as many implications, obviously, but we have a lot of thunderstorm activity going on for that date as well. Now, the total precipitation here, we can see really, really high amounts here across the northeast and southeast there, uh, especially the northeast here where we have far above average precipitation ongoing. As we take a look at the temperature pattern, this is going to be your long range temperature pattern. We're going to work our way through July. We can see that for the first week of July, we do expect cooler temperatures to continue to prevail here in the eastern United States. More warmth and heat actually building into these south central pockets. I was talking to a good friend of mine today and business partner actually uh, about this and how I expect the heat to actually worsen over time and not subside, unfortunately. Uh, as we work into that second week, we can see this is becoming widespread throughout a lot of these areas. And as we continue on, we can see that for the 14th through the 24th, or 21st here, we do have more neutral temperatures still prevailing here across the eastern seaboard. Now, some more dramatic warmth building in there to the central states. So Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri. So we may actually see this heat wave uh, a little bit uh, spread and become much larger and much worse uh, in, in some regard. And then our final week of July here, we could see that there is some neutral temperatures along the eastern seaboard. Uh, we see uh, far above average temperatures here in the central United States, certainly uh, really, really far above normal temperatures. Now this is the segment of the video where we're gonna move into the analogs, the very exciting stuff. This is what my analogs say for July. We obviously know that this is not gonna pan out for this area, likely. Uh, this area is obviously more likely to be the opposite, actually. Um, so these years did not feature those central United States heat waves like we're seeing this year. So we're gonna disregard this uh, and that does bring into question the, the validity of these analogs, by the way, as well. So that is something I'm going to be thinking about over the coming weeks, rest assured. Um, we can see that the cooler air is there for the east, though, on these analogs. And that is for sure uh, been a lot more accurate with what's been the case. So again, X over here, check mark over there. That is our temperature analogs. We would maybe be seeing some heat in these analogs for these areas for the deeper south and that has been a little bit more in line with what we've seen but again these upper midwest areas have been quite warm and these were the heart of the cold in these analogs so definitely brings into question the validity uh, we also see warmer temperatures for washington oregon and northern california there uh, in these analogs for the upcoming month of july which will be something i'll be thinking about as well as we move into the precipitation forecast, we can see that we experience drier conditions here across the Northwest, the upper Midwest, and actually the deeper South into the Southeast. This is probably the most uh, least likely to happen at this point because of what we've been seeing. But I will say that we've seen a lot of above average activity in these areas, and I think that this could continue. I just think that it could be pushed a little bit more into these Southeast areas, especially. I think the dryness will actually be more on the Western end of things, where that heat wave and high pressure system are going to be set up for the month of July. That is a lot more in line with my thinking. But again, if you join Prestige Weather, which will be in the description and pinned comment down below, we can you, you have early access to the July forecast and you can see on map what exactly we're calling for this year and get early access to that. Really cool opportunity to share that with you guys early. So be sure to check it out. Be sure to also subscribe for daily uploads just like this one as we're going to be breaking down the fall and winter as our second official fall forecast will be coming out in just over a week. And our first preliminary winter forecast will be coming out in just over a week as well. A little bit of a early announcement there. So that is something to be excited about. We're going to be releasing those very, very soon. And we're going to be releasing more of these analog type videos as well if you enjoy them. So be sure to like and comment down below if you want to see more content just like this. Uh, anyway, guys, be sure to like the video, leave a comment down below, like I mentioned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.